March 13, the gospel lesson from John chapter 12. This is about Judas opposing, uh, putting the, uh, giving the perfume to Jesus um, as a kind of last rites. Uh, that's really important to recognize, and especially the fact that this is the last Sunday school class for the next month. Um, I think you can focus on that, but also <clears throat> focus on the fact that this is the pre-passion story. And so this is a great time for Sunday school class to just go straight forward ahead and talk about everything to come as well. And so you can be cognizant of that and ask questions that open up that. Um, uh, I think also, like right here, you should focus on the characterization of Judas um, and his motivations. Um, this is the most plentiful description of Judas that you get in the Bible. Um, and so there is some interesting pieces there that you can focus on and you can wonder about his motivations. Uh, why did Jesus keep him around knowing that he would betray him? And then, you know, also uh, the motivations of this comment that J Judas makes is especially interesting and you nail it right on the head. You know, is he really concerned about um, giving the money to the poor when he's going to betray Jesus for uh, a lesser price? Um, <clears throat> this is a great... It's a great question, a uh, great observation. Um, I like how you use the word match here, and um, you definitely pull out the right uh, understanding that, um, you know, it's uh, frightening to imagine Jesus leaving. Um, this is right before Jesus enters Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And so um, when you're looking at the passage here, um, definitely, uh, you may want to address this, uh, verse as well as just very quickly. Um, you, you will always have the poor. Um, I think it's important to address that not as a kind of, um, escapism from, you know, uh, working towards, uh, social inequality, social equality, but, um, just a kind of tragic acknowledgement of a fact that we need to work towards. Um, and then, but like I said, this is the thing you need to focus on. Um, this was a shocking statement for Jesus to say. She brought it so that she might keep it for the day of my, bur my burial. Um, that would have been like, what? What are you talking about burial? You're about to make your triumphal entry as the king. Um, no one is really understanding that he's going to die as a criminal. And so um, I think that's the pre-passion significance of this story, especially this being the last Sunday school class before kids take off. I think you should focus on that. Think of the questions as open-ended, um, kind of giving forward more momentum towards the passion story that's about to happen to try to make that the primary content of the discussion for this morning. Looks great.